like explain what these engines are. Well, that's a Lorraine Road Rage, just like a uh, well, Lorraine Road Rage. The other ones are over. If you walk over in the main shop, you'll see, or out there, you'll see the DR1, the triplane, and that has a running Lorraine Rotary in it. That's this one here? That's this type of engine right here. The whole engine turns. And then this one here? That's a, I think that's a little Continental A65 or C85. It's a modern engine. This is your oil pan here. The carburetor goes right down here. Your carburetor goes right down there. This is your intakes here. And uh, let's see where the exhaust is. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, where are you? Oh, it's probably these up here. They're blocked off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. It's coming over. So is this uh, engine here probably from like the 50s or 60s? This is from the, really from the 40s to the 90s. It's a really uh, durable engine there. Oh yeah, huh? uh huh. They're a fairly simple engine. Because getting to the case, you just split the case, lay it up, there's your crank. <laughs> and everything. Yeah, that's you know. kind of weird. The whole block just comes a apart. VW, like a VW engine, four cylinder VW engine, same way. That's weird. <laughs> And uh, what was this one over here, the, the four-cylinder? That is a Paul Scott. I'll show you here. So if everybody asks that question, I'm just going to reverse these guys 180 degrees here. It puts this guy back out of the way. And it's a Paul Scott Indianapolis. USA. Wow. Paul Scott Motor Company. Now is part of the engine like that? That is the that holds the gearing to drive the camshaft. The bevel gear. Here's the drive from the crankshaft up to here. And it goes in here and it's got a bevel gear on it. And it drives that's one to one there and then this drive breaks it to one half to this, the, the camshaft will turn once for every two turns of the crankshaft. That's just the way a four cycle engine works. Then you got the dual spark plug thing. Yeah. These are the magnetos right here. This is back when they used a horseshoe magnet to energize them. They didn't have things like Sumerian cobalt magnets and stuff like that. Got the priming cups for the fuel. And then this is the gnome engine here? This is the exhaust here, this is the intake here. In fact, here's your fuel bowl. It's got a zenith fuel bowl there. That's, this is the intake, that's where the air goes in. There's your throttle. Paul Scott engines are they made uh, they made six cylinders, inline eight cylinders. Uh, they powered everything from interurban railway cars to trucks. They were very reliable engines for the twenties, teens and the twenties. And uh, they, they powered those, they 